My conservative brother loves Ann Coulter, and I mean he really loves her, and he delights in sending me every word that flows from her radioactive pen in the hope that I may too come to love her blonde tresses, her acidic wit, and her desire to place all liberals in some mysterious internment camp with a very large smokestack that's belching out black clouds from morning till night. <laughs> My brother loves Coulter so much, in fact, that he challenged me this week to rebut her recent column, Liberals Aren't Funny, They're a Riot. And I have to admit that it was a very good column if you turned your brain off to read it, which is apparently what most of her audience does. It was all built around the simple premise that mobs are bad and that they are always the same destructive, left-wing, and without any clear cause. Like, for example, when sports teams lose and their fans riot in the streets. Liberals. Or, she explains, when in Greece and Paris they rioted because their jobs and social benefits were being cut. Liberals! And she even goes all the way back to the French Revolution, which, according to Anne, is the template for all mob uprisings, and that the signal event of that lunacy was an attack on a prison, the Bastille, housing only half a dozen prisoners. Because you see, Anne claims that liberals love mobs because rioting and anarchy is their path to power. And clearly, the French peasant liberals should have sat down and negotiated terms with Louis the Sixteenth. You see, the right to protest can only be executed responsibly by conservatives like the Tea Party and not those liberals in Wisconsin. Those were mob action. Now, I told my brother I would rebut Coulter point by point, but to save time, let's just look to the Middle East and Arab Spring, which was all started by a young man named Mohammed Bouazizi of Tunisia. He was a street vendor who supported his mother and sisters by selling fruit, and after years of being harassed, robbed, and humiliated by the local authorities, he snapped and set himself on fire, which led to the mob, which led to the revolution, which brought down Tunisia's dictatorship and fanned the flames of revolt that have spread to Egypt and throughout the Middle East. Although I'm sure all the dictators would agree with Anne's assertion that, quote, like Satan, mobs are only good for destruction and chaos. Yes, there are those liberals go again, bringing down dictatorships when they should clearly have sucked it up and resolved themselves to lives of oppression. That would show Satan. I wonder how George Washington and his mob cronies are doing in hell.